You're right, everyone. Hope you're well. So, ma mango wine. Mango wine, yes. So, <laughs> our mango wine is now finished. It's been about a month since we made this. So if you haven't seen the part one video, I'll stick the link at the top there so you can see it. So, our mango wine is done. Let's take a look. What does it look like? It looks pretty damn good, to be fair. Pretty damn clear. All the crud, <laughs> all of the mango and the yeast has fallen out. That smells really nice. So we're going to need to take a hydrometer reading to see what this finished at. So I've gone ahead and I've sterilized everything in advance. I've used bleach and washing up liquid to pretty much sterilize everything. Then wiped it off or rinsed it off, including the bottles. So, you know, it's an all-purpose tool. So let's see what the hydrometer reads, since this is going to bottom out. Handy little tool. There we go. So we'll just give it a minute and we'll see what it reads. So a mango wine has finished settling in the hydrometer and uh, well, I'm gonna call it 990, but it's actually closer to 988. So we're pretty close to the 12%. That is a, uh, that's a very dry ferment, I have to say. Though it did smell like it was a little bit sweet. So I've got some of the, the jus. Cheers. Ooh, it's cheeky. Little bit zingy, it is a fresh ferment. Has some mango zing to it. This has promise. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is bottle this up. It's the boring bit. I've got my siphon tube, which has been sterilized. I've got my brewing peg and I've got my six bottles. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, siphon all this off. See you in a bit. So with our bottling completed, we, we've got wine in a bottle looking pretty. It actually has a very nice color to it. It's kind of, well, mango. Mango is a pretty delicate color, but it does smell very, very nice. Now, as it is, it's not gonna taste very nice. It's just a freshly made wine. We didn't add any tannin to it. We didn't do a lot to it. We just brewed the fruit. Now I do that because I like simple fruit wines. I like my fruit wines to taste like the fruit. So because I like sweet wines when I'm making fruit wines, we can make these quick drinking, which is really handy. So all we have to do is um, pour it over a glass. Can't help myself. Now it is just a testing glass because it tells you how sweet it needs to be. I'm gonna be using sweetener. Oh yes, something that's not fermentable. An artificial sweetener the yeast can't eat. So it stays sweet. There we go. So let's just start off uh, with one. Fizz. Great stuff. Cheers. Whoa. That tastes pretty good. Getting the mango flavors, getting alcohol. Wow. Needs a little bit more. I have two teaspoons. I thought about this and everything. Add that one in. Cheers. <laughs> wow. That is quite nice. Oh, it is strong though, but not bad. Just give that a minute for the flavors to sink in and, you know, do their thing. So we just gave it a minute for the artificial sweetener just to sort of dissolve properly inside. Just take a little bit, sometimes up to 24 hours for the taste and the flavors to really disappear. 
And if you add too much, you can never get the taste away. Anyway, so let's try it now. It tastes like wine, as you would expect. Oh. Then it's got um, mango. Quite a lot of mango. Not sweet mango. It's sort of, a, it's almost sweet enough, but it's just a little bit tart. That's a little bit because it is a freshly brewed alcoholic beverage. You can't really get rid of all of it, but it's pretty close. So, because I'm cool, I'm just, uh, I see I've got a dry one. I'm just going to add in half a teaspoon. just to see if that uh, gets rid of those last little sort of harsh edges. Because this is a quick drinking wine. It doesn't need to be aged. Because, well, there's no tannins, just what's in the fruit. Handy stuff. So. Once more for luck. So a mango wine seems to have sort of leveled out now. It is it's very, very pleasant to drink. Hmm. It's alcoholic. It tastes sweet, as you would expect, but it has those sweet mango notes. It has a little bit of mango zing to it. Very, very palatable. Very easy to drink right now. Now there is one more thing I want to do to it because I've never actually made mango wine before. We follow the basic principles of making fruit rind wines. Strong stuff. <laughs> and cheating, so we make a fruity, fruity little number that's quick and easy to drink. But I don't know if it's good, if it's warm, or if it's cool. So I'm gonna add in a nice cube, let that cool down, I'm gonna give it a taste. That way I know if it needs to be chilled, if it tastes better that way, or you know, warm. For science. So this is now chilled down. Been drinking, sipping it. Oh, it's actually really good right now. Hmm, this is definitely better chilled. Still, it was very nice when it was warm as well, but cooler is better. Hmm, that is so nice. So from our little tasting glass, we know that we need about three and a half teaspoons of sweetener per glass, and there's approximately four glasses in a bottle of wine, approximately. So that is uh, 369, 10 and a half teaspoons of sweetener that we could add in right now, and uh, this stuff would be good to drink. It is a lot of sweetener, but at the same time, it's all the sugars have been fermented away, so we need to replace them. Now, the easiest thing to do is actually just to store your wine uh, unaided, so to speak, unsweetened, until you need it. As it ages, it's gonna mellow and you're gonna need less sweetener, so you know, you can balance it out. But this stuff is fantastic for mixing. I mean, it's great. Mix it with a lemon uh, lemonade, you've got a spritzer. It's just cool stuff. You can freeze distill it and turn it into mango shots like we did with the uh, strawberry wine that we turned into strawberry sour shots. That was, a, that was a lot of fun. Good shots too. So I'm just going to store this wine, label it, store it out the way until I need it. And there we go. A quick, easy drinking mango wine for everyone. And you even got a rough guide to how much sweetener to add in to get it to taste nice. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones, and well, subscribe if you feel like it. Carry on homebrewing. See you later.